My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse number 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do that ye may live and multiply and go in and possess the land which the Lord swore unto your fathers. All the commandments which I command thee this day somebody say all scriptures so at that time if apostle Paul, uh, Mo, uh, moses prophet moses was to be in our generation he said all scriptures all the scriptures which god has commanded thee he said observe to do i've realized that this time the best we do with scriptures is to clap to it shout to it and dance around it quote it memorize it and that ends it but he said observe to do it observe to do it. number one that ye may live you know this week i've been sitting on this scripture for a while do the word so that you will live people of god Life and death is connected to something. When Jesus was saying that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God, he was not just talking about our um, life as in your career life or, or just a marital life or something. No, that was not what he was talking about. He was talking about your existence as a whole. As a whole. Anybody that is walking outside of the word of God does not have the hope of life tomorrow. It takes just mercy for you to see tomorrow if you are not working a particular word of God around you. He said, number one, that you may live. That means there are people who broke the word and they, they died. There are those who broke the word of the Lord, resisted his commandments, and they died. And the Bible said, do this word. Do the commandment. Do it. Somebody say, do it. I'm emphasizing on this because many of us are not doing the word. We are only fulfilling our desires and our lusts. That's all we are doing. Sometimes I sit back and I look at the body of Christ as a whole and clearly you can see a people that are actually living by their own accord and their own will and covering it up with an expectation for God to move that's what is happening in our day and there is no promise God can give you that will work until you submit yourself to his lordship by obeying every word that he has spoken. He said, observe to do it that you may live. And what is the next thing? That you will multiply. You will multiply. Extreme increase. That you will multiply. So number one, it gives you life. Number two, it brings you increase. He said that you will go in it gives you access then the final thing you possess the land it gives you inheritance the word of God the word of God never live a casual life you pay for it 
never live by your own lust and will your life will pay for it this is a year that every one of us must be conscious of working out the word of God you see they were about to enter the land of Canaan and God was ready to fulfill his promise for their lives and when you read the whole chapter of Deuteronomy 8 you realize that God was worried and the condition was simple do my word because you are about to enter into multiplication so I'm telling you the condition around increase the condition around blessings the condition around possessing the land the condition they were about to enter into Canaan and then the Moses stopped them and told them that hear the word of the Lord this is the condition to possessing that which God has promised you there are many of us here I bet you if you go to heaven now even heaven bears witness that this year is your year of increase if you access heaven now this is the year that everything you have been looking for must come in abundance but you see the condition have not changed before God gives you something he must make sure that he can control it otherwise it may never come many of us have been looking out for things from the Lord yet we reject a very powerful aspect of God that has not changed he said you are about to multiply but watch this my word He continued by telling them something. Verse 2, quickly. Verse 2. And thou shalt remember all the way which the Lord thy God led thee these 40 years in the wilderness to humble thee and to prove thee to know what was in thy heart, whether thou wouldest keep his commandments or no. That means for 40 years, God was testing their heart. If these people, if I give them Canaan, would they still keep my word? So sometimes if God wants to give you a marriage, he can delay for 10 years. If when that marriage comes, he'll be proving your heart. Will you be able to keep his word if that marriage comes? Will you keep his word if you get that political appointment? Will you keep his word if you get that job? Will you keep his word if you get that visa? Will you keep his word if he anoints you as the prophet you want to be? Will you still keep his word? He said for 40 years, God was trying their heart. Because very soon, they will assess Canaan. They have been slaves for 430 years. But very soon they are about to possess their own land. That land is flowing with milk. That land is flowing with honey. That land is a wealthy land. It's a rich land. But God was not in a haste to deliver the land to them. He was testing their heart. If they will be faithful enough. That when they come to the place of abundance. They will still keep his word. The question this morning to you is simple. Will your heart still run after Jesus if you get all that you, have, you need? If he gives you everything that you are looking for, even in abundance, will your heart still go for him? Will you still be that submissive believer that you should be? Have you not realized that you are so proud because of the fact that you can take care of yourself? Have you not realized that? That you were humble until a certain opportunity came. Have you not realized? And sometimes God will take us through the process of tests and proving that our heart will be open up to him. So somebody can sit up and say, nobody takes care of me. That was when you expose your heart to the Lord. You can't, you can't take care of me. You can't do this. That is an open heart to the Lord. And that, is, that heart is the reason why he will be careful to open up the channel extreme increase that heart. if we don't understand this mystery about God some of us will shout extreme increase to 31st December and may never have it he said that he proved them for 40 years to know their heart if they will keep his commandment or they will not I pray for somebody here receive the grace for your heart to run after God I said, receive the grace for your heart to run after God. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Listen. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. 
and also make sure that you like the video so that youtube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message if you have any question please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you and also if you are watching this video and you don't know jesus christ ask the lord and personal savior i want you to make that decision just contact us in the description call us and let us lead you to receive jesus christ as your lord and personal savior and lastly make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded you can be notified thank you so much and see you in our next video prayer section bye